let's learn VoiceThread in five minutes or less. This is VoiceThread at voicethread.com and uh, we're going to learn how to make some slideshows that are interactive that you can add uh, voice or uh, other kinds of narration to and you can have others, maybe students, come in and add their own. So uh, first thing you're going to do is sign in or register. So uh, to register is very easy. You come down here, it says not registered yet. Click register. There's also an educator option which gives you some more features which is nice. So um, do that. And once you've done that and you're registered, you'll come back to VoiceThread and you'll come to the VoiceThread home page. Now VoiceThread defaults to my voice and this is where I have created some voice thread presentations already uh, you can do a variety of things we can browse if you wanted to look for some things in voice thread that you might want to use that would be nice um, today uh, there's things from this week this month and and these are public domain options things that you might want to use and you could use uh, let's go to create and uh, you want to see how easy it is to create a brief presentation using VoiceThread. So the first thing we're going to do is upload. And you've got some options. You can get something from your computer. Uh, you can use a, a, a website. You could go to a website and get pictures from there. You could use a webcam and record yourself. You can go to media sources and uh, you can get uh, pictures from VoiceThread you've already created. You could go to Flickr. A lot of great stuff there. Facebook. Maybe you've got pictures there you want to use. Uh, VoiceThread even provides the New York Public Library uh, with over 700,000 images and you can come in here and you can look at their uh, topics there. You can search. You could come in here if you're a, a science teacher and uh, you know you might search for solar system and, and let's just see what that does for us and um, that brings some things up. So, you know, maybe I want to get some of this stuff. I, I might like it, I might not. Uh, you know, let's say I do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that image there. Click on the images you want to import. Okay, so actually I want to just click that once. And maybe I like this one too, and I'm going to get that one. And maybe I like this one too, and I'm going to get that one, and I'm going to click import. And you see how simple this is with VoiceThread. It's, it, it's point and click. So it says added three images and now I'm going to close that and as you can see now in my presentation that I'm working on I now have three uh, images that I can work on. So the next step and, and I can reorder these if I want to I can move them around just uh, hold them and, and drag. Uh, next step is to go to comment and this is where VoiceThread can get really fun. So let's say I'm going to come down here to comment and I'm given some options as you can see. Uh, I can record my voice, which most people like to do. Uh, if I don't want to do that for whatever reason, I can type. And I can just click in here and, and I can type a comment. Um, solar system, and I don't really know what that picture is, but you know, I might want to go ahead and use that. I'm going to go with save. And, uh, and, and then my picture's here. And, and you can get your picture next to uh, your... Uh, your, your login stuff so that when you're commenting or whatever you have that if you want and that's very easy to do inside a voice thread so uh, you, once you start playing with it you'll see that now um, what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next image and I just click that arrow over there which is very simple to do and um, I'm gonna now you know if I wanted to I, I can click on the little camera and now th what this is gonna do once I click allow uh, this will let me uh, use my webcam so I can actually make a comment on this picture in here while I'm on the webcam and you, you notice how that turned into a pen this could get really exciting too I can come in here I can grab a color and I can draw right on my voice thread so I could do that I'm gonna come down I'm gonna stop recording and I'm gonna save that and now when someone comes in and, and they click that they're going to get that as they're viewing it. And we want to turn that off. Right? And, uh, and then you're going to save your um, voice thread. You can share it. You can put it on a website. You can send an email. You can get your students to come in. They can then comment on the presentation as well. And this is what makes this Web 2.0. And that's voice thread, five minutes or less.